Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com and the fifth Q&A session. In this segment, I will attempt to solve various problems or questions that you guys might have in Elias. If you have a question or an area that's not working out, please feel free to send me a model to contact at 3dedesignacademy.com. Now, in this particular segment, I'm actually presenting a solution that was uh, done by a view uh, viewer of mine. Um, he actually sent me a question, but I thought his uh, uh, resolution or how he solved this problem was quite brilliant. So I, I just thought uh, I'd share with you guys. So this is the model in question. Um, so these are the primary surfaces and he basically did a fill up between all of these to make it nice and smooth. And I thought it was actually really, really nicely done. So I thought I'd share it. So now this is just the primary surface and the, uh, this is the particular solution that he had. Um, all the surfaces look very clean. They're all single span. And yes, this is um, just a segmented in two pieces, but I think this actually looks really good. It highlights nicely. The CV structure is good. Um, it's just, it just really, really, really well done. Now, um, this was the second attempt, I believe. Uh, but prior to this, uh, he had a different model. I mean, essentially the same, I guess, a transition, except the angle is a little bit different. Uh, but I think this one is also really good. Um, yeah, it just I think it's just really nicely executed. Now, uh, one difference, main difference between the two is how the surface, the transitional surface works. So if you see this over here, you'll see that there's a surface going here from uh, basically flowing from uh, this one to this one. And he did a surface, uh, a fillet between these two. Uh, in order to uh, just blend everything together. Whereas this one, it flows from the top to the bottom over here. And he basically spread this fillet out in order to connect the two. Now, um, so I'm just going to try and demonstrate this to you how it is done. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, so if, if it was just me, uh, if I didn't see this model at all, uh, this is what I have done. And I'm going to show you guys how he did the second one, uh, which I thought was a better solution. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if uh, I think if I were to ha just handle this without um, just for a first attempt, here's what I have done. Uh, first of all, um, as you can see over here, this fillet over here is a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to tack the, uh, I would do that first. So I would say, Let's see, it's going to be chords, it's going to be G2. I believe the uh, size that he used was 80 for this one. Um, I don't know what's, okay. So I'm just going to say edge align like this. Now it looks like it's a little bit heavy. Let's see, busy surface, yep, that works. And I'm just going to delete the construction history over here. And I would have done a fillet either this side or this side in order to do this. I will probably do this one first. So I believe this was 30 in size, I would say, I will just blend these two together like this. And well, it's probably prefer to have edge align over here. And now that there is a space over here, I will just uh, do a patch over here. So I will just grab a curve like this. I'll just make it a degree two. I will just align it like this. I will say curvature. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to project it over here like this. And I will just delete the construction history like that. I will, I'm going to just trim and I'm just going to patch this in with four. Uh, it's got four edges. So one is going to be curvature, two is going to be curvature, three is going to be curvature. Of course, there are a lot of spans, so you just want to do a little bit of control on that. Um, it's going to be five and five explicit control and for the boundary blend, I'll just probably do something like this. Now this one, I'm just going to do it roughly because this is not the final version that I'm going to be using. This would, uh, this is just a, a typical scenario that I would just try to attempt to first. Um, I would say this is just a very basic frame and fillet technique that you would use in order to do some a blend like this. Now, uh, Okay, so let's just check the continuity. Okay, so it looks like it's not even meaning curvature. So let's just quickly try to blend everything in. So uh, posterior influence, yeah, that's good. 
Um, so, okay, so that should actually be pretty easy to do curvature. Oh, looks like it's, that's weird. Okay, so I'm guessing there's probably a lot of a CV structure issue, but that's okay. And this one, I'll just do tangent and I'll say vector. And let me just make sure that that's tangent too. Oh, actually, you know what? At, at this point, it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to get it uh, to just fit-ish. I'm just going to quickly go through this. Now, that's it, however, the tolerance is a little bit different than what I'm usually using. So let me just uh, go through the construction options. Okay, so the construction options that he used is, if you look at it, uh, continuity. Uh, position is a little bit tighter than what I use. So for mine, I just use 0.01. But as you can see over here, he set it to 0.001. So I'm just going to try and use the same setting that he used. All right. So I would say just blend it like that. You know, uh, uh, actually, you know what? Uh, maybe I'll just try to at least get this corrected because it does look pretty bad. So let me just make sure that it's at least tangent. It looks like it's failing over here. Okay, so position influence is set to max. I'm just going to delete the construction history over here. I'm just going to move the CVs around a little bit and see if I can get uh, at least tangency throughout here. Okay, so I'm just going to push this one. Actually, you know what, let's do this. Just going to grab surface continue again because right now it's not scaled correctly. So I'm just going to grab this one. Okay, so it's starting to fail tangency over here. So I'm just going to grab this one like that. And let's see if I can get it. Okay, so it's starting to fail on this side. Uh, that's not good. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to just do this. I am just going to... Now, I would never do this in uh, any project. Uh, but since I'm just trying to get uh, just demonstrate to you guys what I would have done. Uh, let's just do this. There's a vector normal. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to do this. I'm going to add a span over here. Uh, not this way, but this way. Like this. And let's see if that makes a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to say vector. Uh, I should probably add a span this way. But let's just see if I can get this to work. Okay. Actually, let me just, that's weird. That doesn't even align. Okay. So let's grab this again. I'm going to say vector view. Oh, there we go. Okay. So at least I got a tangency there. Looks like view works a little bit better. Okay. And I'm just going to grab both of these over here. I'm just going to try to get alignment. So it's starting to break over here. So I'm just going to, well, as you can see, the comb is starting to be like that. Oh, this really doesn't want to do it, does it? Okay, so let me just add a span over here. I'm going to say vector. I'm just going to add a span like this, and let's just get rid of that one. Okay, so align. Okay, so we got tangency on both sides. I'm just trying to really just rough this in. I mean, the highlights, yeah, it's not great but it's okay and i'm just going to delete the construction history over here and what i've done is just grab these like this and i'm going to just run 30 over here i'm going to say edge line over here edge line over here and busy i will just just turn that off and then it's, i mean it looks terrible i know that it looks terrible so uh i'm going to uh, attempt to uh, basically recreate the solution that you had but well essentially the building blocks are there so what you would do is you have a fillet here, you have a fillet here, fillet here, and you just connect the, connect those three and including the fourth one over here and, uh, you know, have it work out. But of course, this is not the best solution. So uh, let's just go ahead and do a cleaner version of this. Okay, so I'm just going to hide this over here and let's grab this one and let's go over and do the same thing. So what I'm going to do is, well, the procedures are the same. So it's going to be 80 over here and I'm going to make a Bezier surface in order to make, uh, make sure the highlights clean. And I'm going to grab 30 over here. It's going to default on both sides. 
um, busy surface would probably be good. I'm going to say edge line over here. Now this one I'm going to actually fix. So I'm going to just do it over here like this. And I'm going to do a same size fillet over here like this. And that should be good. I'm going to say edge line over here. And let's go and take a look. Okay, so I'm going to delete the construction history over here. And I do need to put a fillet over here as well. But since um, the, uh, it's not going to be the same size as this one, and uh, we already have surface over here, I'm going to just use those in order to recreate this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a curve and surface over here. And let's just grab a curve over here like this, and I'm just going to project. I'm going to project this one over here like this. And let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to trim here, and I'm going to trim here. And here to connect these two, I'm just going to do something like that. Freeform blend. And I'm going to say G2 on both sides like this. I'm just going to delete the construction history. And that should give me a nice height for this fillet over here. Now, um, I do need to redo this one. So what you can do is you can either extend this back and redo the fillet align. Or actually, you know what? That should be, that should work because the height's pretty good. So I'm just going to say it uh, align over here. Position influence max. I mean, I don't think it's a super necessary, but well, you can do this too. So I'm going to say edge align on both sides and I'm just going to delete the construction history over here. And now what I need to do is I need to blend this one over here because right now this fillet is a little bit big. So let's go ahead and extend it a little bit over here like this. Actually, you know what? Um, I wonder if I should have just blended this one together. Oh, uh, well, either or, I, I do need to trim this one. So let's go ahead and do that first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this curve over here. Now, there are several ways to uh, project this or trim it or whatever. Um, now, you can build a rail um, and just do this, or you can just project this curve over here. So I'm going to say project like this. And now, uh, in order to make sure, uh, let's go actually go back to perspective view. You'll notice that the projection and uh, the curve that you projected with and the CUS is a little bit different. Now, because uh, this is due to the fact that it's in perspective view, so what you want to do is just go to orthographic view like this. Uh, if you hold down Alt Shift, uh, menu pops up like this, and you can just switch between the two. And you'll see that this is actually precisely what you have over here. Now you can also, uh, if you don't like how it's projected, you can always go over here, query the history, and just go to either X or something else and pick view again, and that's just going to reset. All right, so that's going to give me a nice uh, filler over here like this. And of course you can do a trim convert, uh, doesn't really matter. And let me actually just go back to perspective over here and you can do something like that. Now for this piece over here, uh, what you can do is you can try to replicate it or uh, you can just try to trim it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to untrim this piece over here like this all the way through. Let's just delete the CWS over here. Now, uh, let's see, I think I'm just going to do this. All right, so I'm just going to extend it over here like that. And what you can do is, well, intersect this one. I'm going to, well, let's do this. I'm going to extend this one a little bit too. Like that. Actually, I should have extended the CUS over here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to extend this one like this. And I'm going to, let's see, I should have, oh, I should have probably kept that. But well, I can also do this. I can just uh, snap a curve like this. And I'm going to make this into a degree two. And I can just align this one. And that should be exact same path. And what you can do is just extend it. I'm just going to project it over here. Now it's not going to be exact, but at least you can get it close. I'm just going to extend it over here. Uh, looks like it's a little bit off, but that's okay. 
Okay, and I'm just going to trim this so that I, I just get a nice sliver of surface over here that's aligned to, to either side. And what you can do is you can just, just pull up a surface using extend with merge off in order to create something like this. And now I'm just going to put a fillet between the two. It's going to be edge aligned on both sides like this. And that's going to create a nice sliver like that. Now, uh, you just want to make sure that it is actually curvature continuous between the, these two and looks like it's actually not, um, which is, I don't know why it's not, but well, you can always, um, make sure that it's nicely aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to align this one position over here like this. Um, it should be curvature. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because this is more critical to blending this, uh, these surfaces over here than this one. So I'm just going to do this and let's just make sure that the continue is good. Oh, looks like it's not. Okay. Uh, that's not good. Okay. So I'm just going to, now, um, I'm guessing this is probably due to the flatness of the surface. So let's see what's going on. So. Let's go ahead and untrim this one over here. And I'm just going to make sure everything is nice and curvature. So I'm going to align this one. I'm going to make sure that it's edge like this. Position influence is set to max. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. And I'm going to say partial. Um, edge is probably, well, let's do this. I'm going to revert and I'm just going to trim this one. And I'm going to say edge over here like this. Same thing on this side. Now that's a little bit funky. Okay. So that's why. So it looks like there's a little bit of deviation. That's okay. I can just use that. Um, basically use this as a building block of to do to do this one. So I'm going to say, Oh, actually, before I trim anything, I'm just going to delete the construction history over here. I'm going to trim this one. I'm going to get rid of the C West over here. And this one I'm going to have to redo. So I'm going to say project over here. Let's get rid of this C West over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this one. I'm just going to extend it back. So I'm going to say merge on. I'm going to grab this edge. I'm going to snap it like that. I'm going to delete the C West. I'm just going to project it from Z like this. Let's just check the continuity over here. Oh, okay. So it's still failing. That's interesting. Okay. So that's due to, I'm guessing this is due to the CV structure. Looks like it's a little bit off. I don't know why. All right. Well, if that's the case, let's just align it. Okay. I'm, so, I'm just going to say align. It's going to be edge, posture influence set to max, edge, edge on both sides. Okay. So that's good. Oh, okay. So it looks like the CV structure is a little bit different, which is a shame. Uh, well, I don't know if it's going to cause any problems, but let's just align it like that. Let's see how that does. Okay. So I'm just going to check the continuity. Now that's weird. I don't know why it's failing because it's a friggin' damn same surface. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So I'm just going to delete the C West over here and I'm going to, well, I'm guessing there's probably a little bit of gap. I'm going to untrim this one. Now it could be due to the fact that there's a little bit of height difference. So maybe, um, I do think I need to fix this. Okay. So let's do that. So I'm just going to snap a curve over here. Yeah. It's starting to slide down. That's probably needs to be fixed. So I'm just going to project it over here. I'm going to trim this one over here and this one, I'm just going to leave as is. And now what I'm going to do is, well, let's do this. I'm just going to align this one and like show you, I'm, um, Let's do this. I'm going to align a curve like this. Just going to align this one over here. It's going to be G2. Let's see. And 
Actually, instead of doing this one like this, um, I'm just going to trim convert it and I'm going to delete the extend like that. Just going to align this one over here. Oops. And I'm going to align this one over here. Now this is going to take a lot of preparation because while well, it's you're trying to make it nice and clean. So let's go ahead and put a surface over here. So it's going to be okay. So one is well, let me just make sure boundary blend. Okay, so it's going to be no, I, I need collinear options. Okay, so it's going to be one and two is going to be collinear. And I'm why is it failing? Continue check. Okay, so well, I don't know why it's failing, but I'm guessing just due to CV structure, flatness of the surface, I'm pretty sure is having uh, giving a little bit of problem. That's fine. Uh, however, I'm going to make sure that the height is the same. So let's do this. I'm going to just delete this one and I'm just going to grab all these CV and just make sure the height is exactly the same. Do the same thing over here. Now that is um, causing a little problem over here, but that should be okay. So let's actually move the CV over here, uh, CVs over here as well. Now I'm not quite sure if this is going to cause any problems, but let's just slide it over here like this. And let's just make sure the CV structure is good. All right, so I'm just going to slide this one like that. And now for the final check, I do need to make sure that uh, all the continuity is good. So I got to make sure that's edge. And I'm going to make sure that this is curvature. Uh, why is it doing that? Um, I probably have to delete the construction history. Okay, so I'm going to just Oh, there's no CUS over here, so let's just project a line from Z. Let's just check this one. Okay, so there's a little deviation in here, so let's just make sure that that's taken care of. So we'll delete the construction history over here. I'm just going to, oh, 5,000. No, I just need to grab this one. It's going to be NUV, and there it is. Okay, so this is super nice and clean and pretty happy with that. So let's go ahead and actually do the fillet over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this one and I'm going to extend this one back. And I'm just going to make sure that it is still aligned. Yep, that's curvature, so that's good. And I'm going to get rid of all these curves because I, I don't need them. And let's go ahead and delete the construction history so that nothing weird happens. Okay, so now I'm just going to trim this one over here. And I do need to trim this one over here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I think, uh, let's see, I'm just going to grab a curve like this. I, I want a nice natural edge. So let's go ahead and do a rail over here like this, and I'm just going to make it a parallel. And let's see how that looks. So I'm just going to extend this surface over here, uh, just one and one. Yeah, I think that should be pretty nice. Now, um, it's probably, I actually, you know what, I'm going to try to reduce the amount of area over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a stretch tool, I'm just going to bring it like that. And that should probably help because uh, when you're doing a fillet like this or any kind of blend, blend uh, the smaller the area, usually easier to get uh, alignment together. Now, of course, that really you don't want to do it too much. Uh, maybe that's a little bit too much. Mm, maybe. Well, let's find out. Well, let's just give it a go and see. Okay, so I'm just going to intersect this one like this, and I'm just going to say trim convert, and that looks pretty good. And this one, I'm just going to hide just in case I need it again. Now for this one, I just want to make sure that it is edge over here. Okay, so it looks like there's a little bit of CV movement. This one, I'm going to say partial. Now this one, you don't really need to move. Um, yeah, so as long as it's uh, all edge aligned over here, so that should be good. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to align this one over here. So let's go ahead and grab a freeform blend over here. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. I am going to do an extend with merge off and I'm just going to snap it over here like this. I'm going to use that in order to do this. I'm going to grab this one and this one. Actually, uh, before I do that, um, yeah, actually, let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to say free. Oh, no, I don't want to grab both. I'm going to say free from blend and I'm going to say connect ends over here. Uh, where's the manipulator? I'm going to say modify range. I'm going to snap this one over here. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm not quite sure if this is necessary, but let's see. I'm going to say connect ends over here. Like this. Actually, I should have just done a pi rail. Well, yeah, let's do a pi rail. So let's go ahead and grab a pi rail like this. I'm going to say one and two. Now, it would be uh, probably ideal and probably works a little bit better if you just have a surface um, that's aligned together also. But let's give it a try and see if it works. So I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to say curve segments on. Just going to snap it over here. Actually, it looks like it needs a rebuild. Yep, there we go. And I am going to say rail one is going to be curvature, rail two is going to be curvature. The CV structure, well, I think it's okay. It's not great, but well, let's see. Actually, I'm going to do a collinear, see if it makes it any better. So I'm going to say rail one. Oh, actually, you know what? That helps. The only problem is it's not lining up over here, so. I am going to just make it align like this and let's see if it's still curvature over here. If not, I might have to redo this one. Okay. So I would say, yeah, maybe I do need to make it like that. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to extend this one over here. Like this. And I'm just going to grab this edge over here like that. I'm going to extend it. I'm going to project. And I'm just going to do a trim convert like this. And this one is going to be hidden over here. Like that. I'm just going to align this one. I'm going to say edge align. And the, I'm just going to make sure that it's curvature there. Okay, so the prep's done. Let's go ahead and do this again. So it's going to be by rail. I'm going to say one. Actually, I'm just going to make sure that there's no weird surface over here. Looks like there isn't. I'm going to grab this one, this one, and this one. I'm just going to snap it right here. And unfortunately, rail two has to be off. Uh, not not off, but uh, the collinear options have have to uh, has to be turned off just because of the CV flow over here. Uh, however, I'm going to make sure one is curvature and I'm going to say that is also going to be collinear. It looks like it's not working. So let's uh, grab explicit control and that should be good. Okay, so that's uh, the prep is done. However, it looks like there's a little bit of continue issue here and there. So let's find out why. Now, that shouldn't be. Why is it off? Uh, okay, so it looks like there's a little bit of CV structure problem. I don't know why it's off. Well, let's just align. So I'm going to grab this one. Whoop. Well, I, no, no, I, I don't want an object. I want to grab this one. I'm going to say edge. Oh, and there it is. Just like that. Okay. So that's good. And now let's just delete the construction history over here. Now what I need to do is I actually need to put a curve over here and put a fillet over here. So I'm just going to grab a blend curve like this. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to grab this edge like this. And I'm just going to make sure that it's like that over here. Now, um, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to check the distance though. So let's just project it over here. Now this should be Actually, it should be perfectly close. So let's take a look. 
Yeah, uh, looks like there's a little bit of a gap, but it's point and a half, um, so it shouldn't be too difficult. So let's go ahead and grab a square. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four. Oh, actually, I, I probably need to grab the surface over here, uh, the curve over here instead of the surface. Okay, so now uh, let's do this. Uh, one needs to be curvature, two needs to be curvature, three needs to be curvature. Okay, and I am going to say collinear options on three as well. Okay, so it looks like there's a little bit of failure over here, but well, that, uh, let's see. That really shouldn't be happening. So I'm just going to check. Now that is going to fail a little bit, but that, should, that shouldn't be too hard to fix. Okay, so maybe it's just the shape. I'm not quite sure. Okay, so it looks like just moving the CVs around um, is making it a little bit better. Okay, so, oh yeah. Okay, so it looks like boundary blend works and I'm just going to shift this one a little bit over here. And that one should be pretty easy to do. Now, I know it's a little bit off over here, but I think it should be okay. So now let's go ahead and make sure that this one is tangent. Um, so I'm just going to, well, let's just look at the dimensions, 0 0.7, 0 0.65. Okay, so it looks like, okay, I'll just leave it like this. A CV structure isn't like perfect, but well, it'll do. Okay, so now I'm just going to align this one over here. Um, I sh well, let's just start with tangency. I'm going to say align over here. Okay, so it looks like that's breaking things a little bit here and there. Now, okay, so it looks like vector clear that. So let's just check the continue over here. So this one is curvature. Now it's 1.0, so that's fine. Um, that's 1.0. That's good over here. The only thing I would say the issue is this one. And uh, the reason why I say this is because yes, it is 1.0 over here. That is curvature, but the problem, uh, and I know for a fact that this is a flat surface. The only problem is that is masking a little of a problem over here. So I do need to fix that. So I'm just going to say delete the construction history over here. And I'm just going to grab mouse, sens mouse sensitivity of 5,000. And hopefully I can uh, fix this one. So the comb is going down. Now you don't want it to fail over here. So I'm just going to play with the tolerances and try to reduce it as much as possible. So I'm just going to drag it like this. You see the comb getting smaller and there it is. Okay, so that should be good. Now, the only thing that I need to do now is make sure that it's curvature over here. So this is where things get a little bit more difficult. So first of all, let me just delete the construction history over here. And I know that it's failing curvature over here. So uh, actually, let's try to get this one correct at first. So I'm just going to grab this CV over here. I'm just going to, that, there it is. That was quick. Okay. So I'm just going to check the continue over here. So right now, there is a lot of uh, failure over here. It's failing angle. It's failing highlight. It's failing everything. So now let's go ahead and try to get that sorted out. Um, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, I, I don't like the sliver over here. So I'm just going to extend this edge over here like this. And I'm going to extend this edge over here like this. And what that does is it gives this surface a little bit of real estate for this to sit on. And now what I can do is I can just delete the curve over here. And let's go ahead and let's just turn surface continue on here, here, and here. I should hide this one. I'm going to just delete the locator over here. And now this surface I'm going to hide for a second. Continue on. And now what I can do is I can just say align. I can just do that. Okay, so it looks like that uh, breaks the CV structure up quite a bit. And by aligning, I'm actually breaking the continuity over here as well. So I'm going to say, first of all, vector. Whoa, uh, no, Z, no, view. View should be better. Okay, 
So because uh, well maybe this is due to the blend. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So I'm going to say just project. All right. So the reason why it it's failing is because I did to the edge, but the CWS only uh, CWS was only projected to up to a little bit. It was a little bit short, so that's why it's causing positional failure here and there. I don't want that, so let's do this. And since it's already pretty close, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, um, well, I would actually prefer to just add spans and just make it a little simpler. But um, if you were to not add spans and you just wanted to know full class A surfacing and just wanted to do a single span surface, uh, what you can do is just, you know, have this as is, and you can just split the surface into two. So I'm just going to detach like this, and I'm going to grab this one, and I'll probably just do it somewhere in the middle. So let's do this. I'm going to patch precision on for this one, and I can detach, snap right in the middle like this, and now you can align also. Okay, so I'm going to align again, and I'm going to, because we already have a CWS over here, I think I can just use edge like this. Okay, so that one there, and I'm going to align this one over here. It looks like it's a still failing uh, position. So now at this point, you can uh, use position influence, or you can always um, add a span, doesn't really matter. Or you can also add a degree. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Actually, you know what? Uh, before I do that, let me just give this a try. I'm going to hide this one for a second. Actually, delete the construction history. I'll hide this one for a second. And uh, I believe I delete the COS, but that's okay. I'm just, I can just use this. Okay. Like that, and I'm just going to do a square again. So it's going to be one, two, and three. Blend curve like that. And let's just make increase the degree a little bit. So I'm going to make it a six degree over here. Well, maybe seven. Actually, you know what? Let's just do five. No, actually, I'm going to leave it at five. Okay, so it's good over here. All right, and I'm just going to align this one. Tangent, vector, normal. Hmm, okay. So it looks like that's not working. All right, well, that's fine. I'm just going to delete the construction history over here. And let's just check the continuity again. And check the continuity here. And check the continuity here. Let's just hide this for a second. And let's just make sure. This one is taken care of. Oh, looks like it's starting to fail tangency again. So I'm just going to touch this one also. Okay, we got curvature here. And I'm just going to grab this one. Oh, make sure that it's not failing over here. 1.0. Let's just drag that down like this. And that's curvature there. Okay, so that's good. And now I'm just going to align this one. I'm going to say G2 project. Oh, let me just bring the surface back. Sure, I'm going to copy this one too. I'm going to say copy and paste. I'm going to just hide it over here. Let's just delete the CWS over here. And I'm going to just project align this one like this. And instead of adding spans, I'm just going to add a couple of degrees. So six, seven, and unfortunately, uh, that, that's still failing in position, unfortunately. Okay, so let's do this. I'm just going to project. 
Sure, you know what? Um, there is a, well, let's do this. I think I'm going to make this a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this surface over here and you'll see that there's a little bit of gap. So I'm going to try and reduce that. So I'm just, right now there's about 0.3. Okay, and now I'm just going to grab this one over here. Actually, you know what? I just need to make sure that it is actually aligned. So let's do this. I'm going to align this one over here. And I'm going to align this one over here on this edge. And I'm going to just say auto scale G2 on on both sides. I'm just going to shift the CVs and see if I can get a little bit of tighter gap with this one. Okay, so it looks like this one actually has to go up. Oops. 0.15, 0 0.1. Okay, so it looks like it's 0 0.04. We to just go over here. Okay, so it looks like that's as tight as I can get. All right, so that's a lot better than before. So let's try this again. So I'm going to say one, two, three, and four. Okay, so that looks looking good. Let's just reset everything to 0.5 over here and here. Okay, so the CV structure I think is a little bit better, uh, but still not uh, achieving continue over here. So let's see if I can just shift things a little bit and get a, a better continue over here. Um, so I would say that's actually making things worse. So let's grab this one. Okay, we got curvature on both sides. It's failing tangency though. So let's try to get that going. So I'm just going to delete the construction history over here. I'm just going to grab these two. And I'm just going to shift it until I can get the alignment. Okay, so curvature, well, it's better than before. Let's try to get curvature over here. Oh, okay, so it looks like it's actually working out a lot better than before. Uh, now, so let's actually delete this one construction history over here. I'm just going to hide that. Okay, so that worked out a little bit better. And I'm going to check the continue over here. So now let's see if I can get this to align. So I'm going to try edge first. Okay. So it looks like it's failing all kinds of stuff. I'm just going to add a couple of more degrees over here. Still failing position. That's okay. Position influence set to max. No, that's not going to work. Okay. So now let's try a line over here. Project. I'm going to say normal view. Okay. So not great um it's still now the to uh, tolerance is really super tight over here but well let's give this a go so i'm just going to well i'm pretty happy with the surface over here so i'm just going to copy and paste this over here and just put it on a new layer and i'm going to bring this one out oh actually no um, and let's try this again so just going to align this i'm going to say let's see why is it Shrink to fit. Uh, something's off. Okay, I'm going to grab this one. View. Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't know why it's not letting me align, but whatever. Okay, so X and view, same. Oh, actually, it's Y. Let's see. Y. Uh, yeah, I would say Y is good. And let's just add a couple more degrees over here. Six, seven. Okay, so it's still a uh, failing position. I don't think I really want to go anything over than seven. So let's try align with this. Okay, so I'm just going to say tangency for now. Okay, so that's failing over here. It's 1.0, that's fine. And I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to just align it over here like this. 
Okay. And now, uh, at least I got tangency on both sides, so let's find out what's going on. Okay, so it's one point over here. It's still masking this one, so that needs to be resolved. And I'm going to say this has to be G2. So I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to... Okay, so right now it's actually failing position, which is not great. Um, so I might actually need to split that into two. So let's do that. So it looks like I do need to split it in two nonetheless. So I'm just going to grab detach over here. And uh, let's do this. I'm going to turn patch precision on. I'm going to say detach over here like this. Okay. And let's go ahead and align. So it's going to be just G2. Um, why I don't know which. Uh, let's see. I'm going to say, well, I'm pretty sure they're the same. Okay. So, oh, well, that's not good. Okay. So I'm going to say vector over here. And I'm going to grab this one. Actually, it should be two. Let's do this. I'm going to grab this one. It's going to be edge. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to say two position influence. I'm going to just set it to, well, let's do vector. First of all, I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to grab two and I'm going to say vector. Same thing. Okay. So Let's go ahead and hide this one for a second. And let's just make sure that all the continuity is good. Okay, I'm going to grab this one. It's 1.0. It's not failing over here, so that's good. It's 1.0. It's not failing. Uh, you don't see any comb uh, problems here, so that's good. And looks like that one is failing a little bit. And I'm just going to make sure that it's not failing between these two, uh, which it is. So let's just go ahead and fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trim this one. Oh, actually, uh, I do need to delete the first CUS. And I'm going to just trim this one. Now, when you're doing this, you can, of course, um, just project these or you can just extend them back. I don't think it really matters. Just like that. And let's go ahead and delete the construction history over here. Okay, so this one actually needs a little bit of fix. So let's go ahead and do this one first. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, okay, so if that's a case, I'm going to try and see if I can use a line, although I'm a little bit afraid. Auto skill G2 is off. I'm going to say vector. It's going to be normal. Uh, yeah, that's causing problems. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see if I can align this one over here. So I'm going to say G2, I'm going to say vector. Okay, we got curvature here, but it's failing over here. So I should be okay. So I can just align this one, partial. I'm going to say vector again, project. So that's good, normal. You okay? So now there is a quite a lot of curvature deviation between the two. So let's do this. I'm going to delete uh, the CUS that's over here, and I'm just going to delete the construction history over here. And well, first of all, let's just make it positional. So I'm just going to move the CV like this, and I'm going to see if I can just manipulate the CV on either side to get get the curvature corrected. Okay, so it looks like I'm getting pretty close. And there it is. Okay, so other than one point over here, I got curvature on all sides, and that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to turn the patch precision off like this, and that's done. So let's grab this surface, and I'm just going to hide it. And let's just check the highlight. 
and that's flowing really nicely. Now that took a long time. That really took a long time, but as you can see, uh, it's a really nice execution. Now I really wish that was curvature, but whatever. Actually, you know what? Let me just give this a go. I'm going to see if I can just align one of the sides and see if it'll just match it. So I'm going to just align this one. I'm going to say edge, push your influence set to max. No, that doesn't really get rid of it. 1.0. Okay, so that doesn't do it. Uh, this one probably will break everything. That still doesn't get rid of 1.0. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave it. Okay. Well, I would say, yeah, it looks pretty good. Highlights nice. And that's how it's done. All right, uh, so that is how to make this particular complex blend. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.